imagine you have a baseball in your hand. Now, toss that imaginary ball at the screen. How much brain power do you think you just used to do that? A, 1%, B, 5%, C, 10%, D, over 50%. Believe it or not, the answer is D. It turns out the simple act of throwing an imaginary ball activates so many different regions of your brain that you actually end up using over 50% of your brain. How is that possible? Here to explain is biomedical engineer Sri Sarma. Think of your brain like a house. Chances are you only use one or two rooms at any given moment. But over the course of a day or a week, you probably use just about every room in the house. Well, this is precisely how your brain works. Some tasks may only require one part of your brain, but most tasks you perform activate multiple parts of your brain. In fact, you pretty much use your entire brain all the time. So, say goodbye to that misconception. But are there any others out there? What about the idea that your brain works better under pressure? To find out if you crush it when it's crunch time, let's play another game. We're going to show you a pattern, and all you have to do is remember how it goes. Let's start off nice and easy. Ready? Go! Do you remember the pattern? Is it one, two, three, or four? Think you got it? If you said option four, then you're right. Good job! Now let's make it a little harder. Ready? Go! Made your pick? If you said option two, congratulations, you got it. Even though that was a little tougher, chances are you picked the right pattern. Try again. This round will be much harder and you'll only have two seconds to answer. Ready? Go. Now, which one is it? Did you choose three? If so, great job. But we've got a question for you. Did that last round feel harder? If you said yes, keep this in mind. The only thing that changed is that we tried to stress you out by telling you that it would be harder and adding a timer. In fact, the answers were up for the same amount of time each round. The reason you thought it was more difficult was because the timer created pressure. When you're under pressure due to dwindling time or resources, your brain releases adrenaline and noradrenaline to pump you up in order to tackle the task at hand. This is helpful for truly life-threatening circumstances, but when it comes to a cognitive task, these chemicals cause your prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain responsible for cognitive behavior, decision-making, and emotion to function less effectively.